Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just noticing how mature our trees are starting to look. On this bridge heading in from the, the uh, what would you call this? I guess we're over here. The north side of town? I don't know, we've always seen it from this direction, but really the reality is it's from... Is that the orientation that we're looking at? Yeah. So from the west, northwest corner of town is this bridge. <laughs> that, to me, that's north up there, but not according to the map. Anyway, we're running, we're running slow. These folks ran out of money as we ended last episode. Now they're running out of food variety. We're at October. We're going to start selling goods. In fact, pause. Who is that? Nope, she's not. So she, getting primary education. Working on a private garden. Ah, so the kids can take care of their own gardens, which took away the symbol that, that there wasn't enough variety. So suddenly there's lots of foods coming in. Good. So they're fine. Um, I want to get this bridge in today. I want to move this field to here. And while we're at it, maybe increase the size of this one a bit. I don't remember. Oh, there it is. It, it's almost. Well, no, it's only by 40 on one side. At least in the 45 range. You're the full 50 by 50. You're a monster. <laughs> um, I'm, I've got too many things in my mind all happening at the same time. The limestone pile is gone. We could put a bridge through. We could then kind of start the new section of town here. We don't. This kind of lingers. It kind of stretches out, and I kind of would like to compact it a little bit and tighten this up a bit. Um, we need to think about a position for another market that can reach the area over here, the the uh, the central storage area. And the guess was that it was going to be somewhere over here, which would then come up this bridge to housing in this area, possibly. Um, I don't know that there is going to reach here. I don't know. Because I was kicking around. If this is going to be a little more of an industrial island, industrial area, then the row houses kind of feel more of a fit. And we've got one with, with stores at the bottom. But a bunch of, you know, houses together supplying labor for a bunch of industry kind of buildings, you know. I just picture this from from that era, you know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm thinking more of like old London or something. But, you know, coming out of all the... the, the the houses, you know, the, the row houses where they're all just crammed together and all going into the factory to work. Just kind of seems like the two go together with the mines over here, the smeltery, and who knows what else we can cram into here. And maybe these guys go over here too. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this looks strange here. I'm questioning whether or not I really want to build these here. I think these are for the island. I really do. So, housing along. I wonder if we try some of our, well, there isn't enough room. Our Burbage plots in here. Yeah, they're not long enough. For what I want to do, I want to do the full length possible. And I have a feeling that we'll, we'll run out of room for that. We, and they got to be somewhere where we can get to a market. And we hit that limit right there. So as long as you get the house here, it could span the entire, you know, peninsula here, whatever this is. Chapel is done. Um, hmm. Or that's what starts to happen out over here. And why is, are we really not picking things up here? I'm curious. We have nobody hired and you guys are all threshing still. So, I would like to get... I don't know if these will sit in the field once the snow hits or if they also vanish. I know the crops do, and we, our crops are finished, so they, they got the harvest done. I just don't know if there is a deadline to get that stuff hauled in. Um, 
I'll worry about that in a little bit. We've got a chapel, and we've got someone visiting it. Nice to actually see it happen. Crossed yourself, went inside, and disappeared. So, no indication. Does she ever return? <laughs> so I've put this guy together, pathway in to the chicken coop, right there. Out that way, out this way. She, there she is. Nelia? Nelia? Um, this tree I would like to make go away. I've got it clicked to remove and... Got it told to really, really remove it. We'll see if they do. Uh, taking a rest, going to work, going to work. Maybe we'll get to see them do it. Archway here. <clears throat> Thinking... Oh, you're delivering material. No, what were you doing? You're picking up materials. Another archway probably needs to be over here. As much as I would like for the pathing to be specific to just this area, it might be nice to... Yeah, they can cross through here, though. No, no, we'll see. I'll, I'll wait to put that archway in. But it just seems like... Eh, yeah, yeah. They come through here. They go in there if they need to. Alright, just one archway. I can tell I'm at a rather indecisive part of the series. There's so many different ways to go. And to make the wrong choice is going to condemn the next ten episodes to have to be... Uh, torn down and redone like I'm pretty sure this group is here let's let's just stop you guys from doing that don't wait what is that that's the ashery yeah move you guys back over here and if you notice I have a whole bunch of little tiny tabs there ashery I got tired of seeing all of these trees in our road trying to build this really nice pathway out here Back there in the road out over here. Yeah. So I... There they are. I put park benches everywhere. So these guys... Where am I? These guys should be taking down park benches non-stop this whole episode. And that should clear out, clear us out a road. Um, I want to do those Burbage plots. Darn it. I don't know where to do it. The row houses would look good in here. Exactly where I don't know. It's, it's, it's an expensive build. So I can't just place it and say, well, that didn't work, and then tear it down and do it, you know, do another one. I need to know they can reach that. And I don't know how to know if they can reach that. So I know one thing we could try. Well, first of all, we need to get these built. I need to get that out of there, dudes empty it okay let's pause we need to get some more labor type things done let's call a holiday temporary holiday and let's just make this happen all of you guys november you're off work um even no not those tree guys but these tree guys we will where are you at 17 logs you guys are off work you already... November. October. Oh. October. Did I do November over here? I think I did. Yep. Yeah. There we go. You guys are off work. <clears throat> Where's another big group? I don't want to touch the carters. Uh, or the fish. You guys... Let's do you guys. You guys are off work right now. October. Speaking of, we are... 1600 toward 5,000 on the final layer of limestone. And so we need, right? Of 5,000, that's 1600. I think it's, it's telling me what's there, not what's needed. Okay. So that means another 3,400? Plus next round, if we do it again, is 15. So I need another 1,800 ish. And I've got 6,000. 
or 18,000. I guess 6,000 and 8,500. So I got 14,500 available for the 18,000 that we need. So it doesn't look like we're going to get a third round out of that. So this will be the final round of our own lime. I feel like there's 10 of the things I wanted to talk about at the beginning of this intro of this video, and I can't think of what they were. Move the field. Row houses. This guy. What am I missing? Oh, well, it'll all come to me. So who else can I... Did that help? Anybody over here? One. Okay. Um, I can't say don't do this. Well, I guess I kind of can. Gathering limestone for, for current layer. Let's just turn you off for right now so that doesn't happen. We don't need charcoal, but there's nowhere to put any more charcoal. So they're not necessarily going to be hired in to do any of that. Nope, no labor is there. So can I get somebody to do this now? You are walking right through it. Okay. You guys. Yeah, I don't know how else to say come and get this. I don't know. I need to set those small granaries and get those built so I could maybe set up some temporary market stalls in different places and then put in an order and see if they can reach something. That's what I'm thinking. How'd you guys do? You came out three ahead. Three gold. You won't need to buy gold for quite some time. But, hmm. We'll see how this goes. Now, in order to put the row houses in, I need more foods. I need more of this going on. Which is why I want to get those Burbage plots in. Somewhere. Either simultaneously or ahead of time. And... It feels weird to put them along the river. I kind of took those as like a poor man's plot of land. And I don't see that having riverfront property. <laughs> Unless it's a really polluted, ugly river. But um, it seems like those, those kind of plots would be in a place that would not be as suitable for other uses. So let's just give it to them kind of a thing so I keep going back to here hmm needs to be a stretch a stretch of road lots of little plots both sides that's what I'm wanting to build and if this is the entrance to the map I don't know that that's the first thing that you want new people to see as they're they're coming into your uh, into your area. You are the leftover of the old farm. So, oh, we've been working. We're working again. Okay, so let that happen. Let's reposition some, some farms here, some, some fields. So you are potato hemp. Let's memorize that, because I'm going to straighten you up, make you just a little bit bigger. Oh, that means that needs to go away. What are you... You're 50. That's the 50. That's the 47. We're not going to get much bigger. We could straighten you a little bit, though. Okay, I like that. Let's do that. So, fallow potato hemp potato. Delete. And build a new one. Add field. Boy, I wish I left myself a marker. Okay, so what are you? You're a bench. You're just a random lonely bench. Okay, so... Sorry. Oh, I know. Here's my markers. So I need to figure out where this is. Well, let's just do it this way then. Click. There we go. So I need it to be right about there. Yeah, I think so. Can I have gotten any further? That's about it. So we're somewhere around there. Let's pull back a little... Straight looks like that looks pretty good. Right in there. Places occupied, really? 
is this bench let go let boy that right click is so hard to do I'm just clicking and clicking and it keeps moving my map just a fraction of a of a movement and it it doesn't release um farm field okay try you again click up in here find a spot we'll go for there take you out about like so road about like that place is occupied what am I losing here oh losing that F F it won't rotate out I'm stuck there and I can't rotate it to the one I'm holding oh that's frustrating uh, okay we'll do it right there bench is complete okay took a tree down all right so you're gonna be something like this then so we've lost a little space oh well we could do it a different way let's go here right click and start there okay we'll do that we'll cheat a little bit so we'll go 50 with this one and this time we'll track that road a little better it was kind of wonky last time so there and we're going to I guess just have to skirt around hmm he really needs to leave he does and boy I forgot to get rid of these two okay so I'm still stuck on that there we go make you empty make you empty and I'll make you empty while we're at it now can I assign a cart somehow oh I can cart you away I didn't realize that okay how are we here you move resource by cart 300 <clears throat> two uh, let's just move you up here to there okay and let's get rid of these this way perfect can I do that here I cannot all right yeah I tried 6800 lumber whoa um, I honestly don't know where I can put that 6800 lumber yeah I can't go here well I could it would fit we could try you move my cart to oh try it again move my cart 6800 to here okay and while you're at it another 1600 wish there was an all button so I don't have to type in a number okay so let's see how quickly that happened speed that up a bit so the chapel's done over there I don't know if I like this setup yet oh come on there's got to be somebody on their way to work just you alright what, what you gonna do an existing order or are you gonna do the first one that I gave you right there okay so they do s no never mind <clears throat> I was gonna say they do seem to to, to get the job done when you need them to but now it went right past the one that I first ordered so you're going to pick up something though just matter what that is you going all the way out here instead of going to the one closest the one that I chose first no you're gonna go work on a building site so that was already in the queue okay um, you guys are doing what supplying resources Oh, you have carts. Okay. Yep, they're doing building sites. All right, so let's turn that off. So maybe these other two carts will go and do what I asked. Um. So as soon as this is done, and that's let's kick that up and see if I can convince somebody just to make that happen. So I can put this field in here and and make it a little bit bigger permanently for 
for the future. These are almost finished. We've got four people working there. We are at the end of October. It looks like the last chance to do it. We'll see how many they can they can haul and if, if it's enough. All right, two more coming in. I'm guessing they can finish that. All right, job's done. Now get those done. Get this one done. Uh, that could be. I don't know if it could be done by farmer or not. Or even cow shed or sheep farm. I'm not sure. Working and taking a rest. There we go. But I, I know they they gather the grass. I don't know that I've seen them empty one of these. Died of an illness. Uh huh. So that's right. We are now we're down to 199. Died of an illness. Okay. Uh, house is vacant. And had we need at least 200 population, house is vacant. Okay. So we're still working on that. All right, let's go take a look at the new chat or at this area over here. Now, talk of a gazebo and then make a park like setting out of it. Where am I? Here, there. If we went this route. Now, well, I got to get this out of here. Okay. So 600, move by cart. 600, take two. Here. Hopefully that will happen soon. You are finally gone. And I'm seeing a bunch of, oh, it's right there, okay. Bunch of flags, I thought they were higher. Okay, so small granary. Let's see, one trick that I was told to do is choose Let's see, copy a building that is aligned the way that you want your next building to be, like so. Click out, that sets the alignment for the game. Grab the small granary, and it is aligned with benches and completed a wooden bridge. Okay, slow down. Child is from born, slow down. Okay, so over here, I'm thinking... That I want you lined up with these guys. This guy kicked back too far. Kind of messes up the edge of the road that I wanted there. So we're going to be a little bit higher up to match those guys. And maybe that warehouse gets tweaked later. I don't know. Yellow footprint. There and there. Looks like it all fits. Do we leave spaces or not? Does that warehouse leave? Let's say the warehouse leaves. He really is kind of crammed into that opening over there. We've got space over here for warehouses because there's a fence there now. Okay, I like that. So you cram in nice and tight. And just height-wise, about like that. And another one next to you. And this can have a little bit of a gap in between. About like so. All right. You guys are there. So I want you. Where are you? You were toward the back end because I figured you weren't that important. Let's make you happen. You're the dairy. And these two are right there. So you three, I want you to get done. Now let's go see that bridge. All right. That looks good. So eventually, I'm guessing we're going to see a good sized road cutting through here. It may be a while. Row houses, I thought they would kind of come off of this. But I don't think their stores can reach those markets. So, or the, the storage. So do we row house somewhere else? Are they just kind of right in here? That might be. I kind of like to set one so we can start the clearing process. Give these guys something to do. So we're into November now. And we've got 18 logs. So there's plenty of work for you to do. And there's actually nothing for you to do. Because there's, uh, there's no need for firewood right now. 
So, yeah, we'll just leave you stagnant for a while in November. You can even cut out December, too. Yeah. Um, bench. Let's see if there's any benches we can start deleting. Yep. Yeah, right there. Get our roadway cleared. What else? I guess that's all they've built so far. So many trees right there in the middle of the road. Yep. So we'll get our main road accomplished through here one of these days. Alright, so these are all built. We're going to start working on these now. You, I also said make empty and that didn't happen. So we really, I guess, could use some more people. We could. So the Burbage plots, I think, are a go. If I could just figure out where to put them. They would give the extra food that we need. Marifa's visiting. And give us more of a foundation to handle row houses. You're done, though. All right, so let's I'm slow down. Because I need to get this thing done this year. Uh, before, before next spring. So I don't want too much more time to go by. Um, demolish you. And in fact, let's just get this set right now. Marifa can wait. Or be skipped. Where are we at? We're at 4,000. Don't think they have anything we need to buy. No, we were only buying warm clothes from them long ago or, or the ingredients for it. All right, so out of field. And you kind of landed real close to that. Let's see this again. Pop you into there. Right click, pop you into there. The farmhouse itself is kind of crooked, but right in this area, width-wise for the road, I'd say right there. Take you out. We'll go 45. And parallel looks pretty good there. And up into here as far as it will let me. And then clip underneath those hay dryers that took so long to get installed. I hate to move all those again. So about like so. About like so. Which means I could have gone a little bit wider. Let's do that. Right there. What's that do for us? That looks pretty good. Alright, something like that. You're there. You are fallow, potato, hemp, potato. Okay. And then activate and no plow. Alright. So this will be fallow this year. And this one will not. So that they no longer sync up and are fallow both at the same time. Both of our no plow fields. So both farms will always, well, between the two farms, there will always be one field somewhere that the sowers can immediately start as soon as sowing season begins. While the other ones are being plowed. Okay, workbench is done, and so you did not need any trees to come down. Good. So in that case, let's start the one that does. Add a field, now that I have a starting point, and click there. You're going to go out the full 50. We won't use this field for a little while, so plenty of time to take all those trees down. Up like so. Actually, it's hard to do it that way, because I never line up right. So you're going to go here. If it will let me, really won't. Yeah, I can't because of the, the door. Okay, so trial and error then. You never know where to put this point and know that you're going to reach that point. So somewhere there, it reached. What is that length? Which one's moving? 50? So I, I got right to 50. Okay. So we'll do that. You're in? Yeah. 31 trees. So it'll be a while before that's done. When that is, this goes away. 
and we can start building whatever is going to be built out here a little bit closer in. Okay, let's think about a bridge. And that will be kind of, you know, we can enter there, we can enter here, enter there, maybe another one over here. And this will just be the central hub to, uh, to branch out from. And I assume industrial. Though that is a lot of space. It really is. What I'm going to fill that up with, I don't know. So it probably is going to be a combination. You know, it, it makes sense that it's an industrial island and it's fed into from everywhere else. But reality is probably going to be a little different. Um, bridge across. Now we don't have a... Let's see. Where is that? Trade and transport. And yeah, we only have the wooden bridge. So no sense of a stone bridge is available yet. So somewhere there, let's see how this works as far as elevation. So one, two, three. Place is occupied. What does that mean? We're okay there. Four, five, no, three clicks in. One, two, three gives us a pretty level bridge. I've got to do it from over here. Right there. Now, if I get these guys going straight up my screen, I can tell when I'm aligned with it by going straight up there. So, one, two, three... It feels like too much. Well, it is what it is. Boy, from here it looks so crooked. But it is pretty well aligned. Yeah, it's aligned enough. Okay, so you're there, and I want you to happen, say, after the uh, after the benches, the rest of the benches get done. Um, this field. Wooden bridge, that's the one from way over there. This field needs to be right after those benches, too. I need to start taking these trees out. Um, granary's done. Okay. Now, this needs to be... Hmm. Just everything that's in there? Can I copy... Copy list to another granary. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so with that, we could do more salt. We could do more sunflower oil. Storage-wise, we have plenty of room. Let's do that. First of all, take from another granary, or do we eliminate that one and have room to do something else in town? Let's just mothball this one. Let's zero everything out. Except for salt. Salt is right there, so we may as well use it. So salt, 10,000. And you will be salt storage for the, for the moment. Okay. So you... Did I do that wrong? I had the wrong one. Collect. Copy paste okay try that again x all of you except for salt and the snow is coming down okay over here flower we'll put 2000 in there um that point would we'll just cancel salt completely dried fish 1000 sure some flower oil there's more than then let's go 2500 more than we were storing before chicken eggs we could do more like 500 we're going to distribute from here to everywhere is the idea buckwheat we can hold how much in one of these places 2000 20000 let's do that's supposed to have another zero on it isn't it there we go um Buckwheat, and let's do 
Oh. Didn't I put 10,000 in there? 5,000. And 10,000. I don't know what I did. 10,000. There we go. So, 5,000 and 10,000. I'm almost thinking... Well, that'll probably do for now. So, we can hold 20 thousand in there so you are not going to have buckwheat either you need a worker so, and you're going to at this point take from other granaries just to go and actually yeah you'll be permanently doing that all right so if i missed any messages lately granary bench 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 and marifa uh still available four more days you guys buy salt, 11.52, let's do that deal. And right there. <clears throat> Where are you at? Salt. 11.52, temporary, Marifa, four more days. And actually I'm gonna pause for a little bit because you do buy sunflower oil. Let's sell you 600. Deal. And sunflower oil. 600. Temporary. And are we done now buying from you wheat? Um, there's still 500 wheat in here. We have 1600 wheat in here. Okay. We'll, we'll ignore that this time. Um, honey, textile, broad, flour. We could sell 500 flour. Deal. Flour. 500. Yes. So laborers are coming in, and even the young. You look like a younger guy. No, you're 20. Okay. So you're not a teen. Um, anybody, anything else? We're on our last day or so. No, still four more days. Huh. Thought that would tick by a little three more. Thought it ticked by a little quicker. Um, selling, selling, selling. Dried fish. We'll keep it. We'll keep a thousand. And because we'll eat that up through a lot of that through the winter. Lime. Nope. Iron ball. I'm glad we never sold any of our lime, since we, it's it is limited. Can't make it anymore. Um, okay. So Murph is done. Third field is done, which, yeah, is no longer field one. So, let's. How do I do that? Link. To farm. Link to farm. Okay. We're all linked. One is not activated. I thought I clicked that. What am I missing here? That's five. Uh... This one. It's considering this number one. Okay. After what I... Did I click the wrong thing? <laughs> I don't know. You're one. Oh, you're two. How did this... Oh, well. Whatever. Do your thing. All right, so what next? What to work on? Did this get cleared out? It did. So, gazebo. I'm trying really hard to make this gazebo idea work, and so far, I haven't found anything that I like. Feels like this should be into here, tucked into that little nook there. Just seems like the natural placement for it. Like that. 
Maybe if I get enough trees and benches and bushes in there, it'll it'll change the way everything looks to me, and it'll it'll seem just right. But I don't know. It just feels off to me. Uh, bench and was that child born? 200. So we need to get more houses in. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to just pause the game. Because every time I those words come out of my mouth, another trader comes in, or I see something else that needs to be worked on. So I'm just going to stare at this for a while, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I think the only solution that works right now because of the market situation being able to reach storage is to do just this strip right in here leaving enough of the reeds available for the new thatchery to access them but let's put some very small yarded houses through this run right here growing as the land is available and we'll just make this work it'll be the last little boost of population we need and a little more access we're close enough here i think to reach there i think we're definitely close enough for here and i know that some folks here can work at the windmill over there so whatever distance that is it's got to be similar to there so i think this is kind of what one of the last middle grounds that can kind of service a lot of the of the town so a house there with a yard that's F1U. Leave room like so for the thatchery. You're going to come up. Let's. How do I position you? Hmm. Do we just tighten you in like that? Somewhere there. In order to do that. I've got to get you far enough away from that guy to be able to get in. Okay, and you can start growing. Now, a continuous run, is there any reason to get down to the reeds? I do see I want to move you a little further away though. Let's give her more room. So you're going to be over here, tighten you up like that. So let's actually make this pathway. There, we'll go with that route. Yeah, so that gives the thatchery this area and the whole coastline to draw from. Okay, size-wise, this road here looks pretty good. Yep, I think that'll work. So you will be there. Let's I think that fits there. Okay. Tighten you up here. Don't need a side yard on this particular Well, I guess we'll just start growing it at this point. Okay, that does fit. So there, and that one can start almost immediately. So let's get, let's get you next. Um, pretty much all the materials are there. Uh, using thatch for these three. So thatch in town is 1600 and four five something per we'll see see if we have enough um, next house so we're in there going to rotate you around like that So each one of these is just going to grow a little bit bigger as we go. Um, let's rotate you. Maybe. 
looking out at the water. We'll see. You're going to be more like that. I think we could get five in here. Distance-wise, a little bit tighter. So we're not going for large quantities of gardens at this point. We're going for getting some more people in and not just building a single house without a yard, but still giving them at least a little bit of yard. So you say you're not inside. I don't quite get that. Entrance is blocked. So I guess I can go for this back corner then. And in that case, align you with the back. So that is about like that. There we go. So they can start to... I don't know if I like that. I really don't. Let's do that. Still touching this side wall. Okay. Which means I can get you a little bit smaller. Okay. And each one will grow and get gradually bigger and bigger. Yep, I think that works. Next one. That's looking pretty good. Try not to take out all the wetlands, but I think that's going to be a good size about there. That should work. A um, little tight here, but can't do much about that. It At least it accepts it. Or does it? It doesn't. Place is occupied. Okay, let's force this one by holding Alt come in just a little bit no matter what I do it's occupied oh that this guy's here demolish little fence stub okay try it again right there okay you're there you are more like there Like that. What did I do with you before? I'm giving them only... Actually, I can start giving them crops on four sides now. We're starting to get big enough to do that. Alright, so you're there. Place is occupied. That means... Yeah, that, that entrance right there. So, I want you... One, two, three... About there. Let's... Alt, move you back a little bit like that. Do I go any further than that? No, there's no room to place anything. So we just do what is what is necessary. Okay, so the houses. Let's align you with the road a little bit. Back a little. Right there. Now we'll do two much larger ones. And what are we doing? We are working on... Right there. And we're at that point. We're into December. We have our four fields still. So nothing's concerning over there. Any issues with animals? Anything that I wish I had been paying attention to instead of, of building... And placing all these things. So we've got... We're waiting for... Finished a batch. Waiting for the next cow to be slaughtered. I'm guessing there's nothing cooking right now. I got that right? I think I do. Okay. How... 
are our cows looking, by the way? Milk, bench, water, it's actually a little low. Why is that? Not a well problem. Okay. So we're set for 500. Yeah, they're just not keeping up with it. Working. We... No, wrong one. There we go. 230. There's two people working here. Emptying buildings storage. Emptying buildings storage. Emptying buildings storage. Which building? I'm not emptying this storage. I don't know. <laughs> That's a strange... It's like you've picked up a side job. Oh, this is a building. Is that what's going on? Yeah, that's a building. Okay. Yeah, I don't think of a hay dryer as a building. Okay. So, let's put a third person on in there. And see if we can get even more milk out of this. Anyway, I was looking to see how we're at. We have a bunch of young cows. So we don't have any, a lot of older ones. We could ox that bowl. So we've got three, four, five bowls available. Okay. Um, I would say let's slaughter this guy. And we have a four-year-old ox in here. That's just kind of waiting. Got money problems over here. Um... Yeah, so you've got a normal income. So that's twice we've run into this in, in an episode. Not much has changed other than that we don't have a lot of people, we don't have a lot of, of laborer jobs anymore. We got rid of most of them so that we could have them for something like the farm. So to have them just scattered all about and always finding work is not happening as well right laborer laborer yeah so it's hit and miss on when the laborer jobs are available is what it looks like to me and so we're going to start we either reduce taxes for everyone or we make more laborer jobs available so that they can always go from one job to the next and you know not have voids waiting for harvest season or something um Slaughterhouse, labor by hand, labor by cart. Doesn't make much sense. You can definitely be filling all these things in when there's no cows to do. Okay. You guys, there's three of you. You guys can handle that. These ladies, it would be nice if they had backup. Let's throw that in. We already have. Okay. We already have. We already have. So that doesn't help. Um, chicken's already that way. Every means possible to, to make sure that everything's there. Warehouses are already that way. Yeah. And they're doing it. So they're finding jobs when they can to keep topping things off. So where else can I give laborers more work? You guys are... Yep, we'll do those two. They can be bringing uh, wheat whenever it's available. Over here, when we're making bricks, and actually we probably should start doing that again. Let's put in... You know, can't, can't go that route, so just do that. And that's already set up to take, take that. Let's go ahead and get those going again. We're going to be building row houses soon before, you know, before too long. Um... Shouldn't need it for here with three workers. That's not a thing. Barber surgery doesn't have... Hey, we have a barber surgeon. If there was a message, I didn't see it. New family settling in town. That was our message. <laughs> okay. So, which means they're going to start charging. Settled recently for medical 
Yeah, for medical services. So I think we have no choice but to drop our taxes a little bit further and figure out just what that means. Rent back to 30, where it originally started. Land tax down to 75. So wealth tax, that's fine. I don't know if that even affects, affect, it affects a few people, okay? There are some families with lots of workers under the same roof, okay? Now, I don't know where to set the taxes for the taverns and the barber surgeries yet. We'll play with that as we start to see a movement there. Um, one. <laughs> Tavern? Yeah. Uh, Tavern? Hey, we got a family here, too. Monthly income hasn't happened yet. You brought 73 with you. And all of these supplies. Nice. You. Same thing. Just got here. And nobody has started paying you yet. Okay. So they don't get paid by salary. They get paid by visitors. And what I was told in the comments, these guys buy their, their booze from the market. Which means that second round that I picked up... How's this going, by, by the way? Still getting there. Um, mead. What was the other one that we bought? Hrelka? Yeah. So let's get you into a market also. Uh, this one? Yeah. And... You are there. And get you bought... Let's see. So I need that in a... In a storage... All right. That roof is throwing me. That is it. So you are there. And 4,000 of you as well. Though we don't have that much. 1,000? Yeah. And a little bit of mead left. There's 1,000 glaze and 500 window glass. And so that's going to eventually hit the market. These folks are going to be able to buy it. So recently settled, financial help, previous month's income. Uh, waiting 60 and waiting 60. How could they be waiting 60? Where would they have got it from? It wasn't in here, right? Right. Just some meat sitting there, which all needs to be moved yet. And hasn't. It's all marked. Okay. Well, let's... Now, she won't take anything out of her own. Right. And let's get these stats moved over. I didn't do that before. So apply to all. I'm in the right one. I am. That's the original one. So you and you. So this one... Yeah. Well, we got a guy. Get a lady... In there then we'll shift that around later and they'll both I assume take off and start hauling the stuff out of here okay you're still building you're running and so animals we've got we just found one that was worth sending in to be butchered so yeah it'll be it'll be fine um, other jobs available for oh let's turn this back on that will help out. Right there. Okay. So you are too far away to ask for help. I need jobs that are closer in for folks to work at. For laborer jobs. You can go away. I wanted to have the flexibility here. I didn't know what I was going to build in this space. So I decided just to get rid of that. We're still sitting pretty good here, right? 6700 and, and adding to it yeah so we're fine there for a while okay so where am i at um, what an hour no way i feel like i'm just now figuring out what i want to do for this episode <laughs> huh do i want to play with that design a little bit here i'm curious I wasn't going to, but there is a stretch here for... Let me just goof around a bit. Let's see. I want F1. If you went there, you there, I don't know what is too long. 
Okay, you rotate. Okay, so distance wise, the house should be inside. Yeah, it probably should. Place is occupied. Okay, that has to go. Unfortunately, I have to start all over again if I have to move something. That's just the way it is. So let's just make that go away right now because it's going to be in the way later. Try it again. You. Here. Come on. Where's the F1? There you are. Drop you in. Like so. We're going to leave a space along the bridge. And take you down into about, I guess, there. was that bench so is there a too long it was all the way down to here okay now we're at a weird angle so it's not going to look right no matter what I do uh, aligned with that side is there and I have to have a pathway in order to access the back side now one problem with this design in regard to Ostrov. Ostrov builds vegetables on four sides of a house. And if you want those vegetables, you have to have that side of the house. We either have one great big crop and nothing else, or we come back a little bit at least and have a little bit of variety in the front and one big crop in the back for this this idea okay I've seen it and I don't like it for here so but I had to I had to see it in action you're gonna do this and we're gonna go ahead and do two significant houses in there with lots of garden space I think that is the better solution for what's going on right there. What was that last thing? There. I can or cannot click this. I can. Small granary. Okay. So get rid of you and I can still do this. So you're going there. You're out here somewhere. And further yet. And in some. Okay. And align with the road. Back a little further. And place is occupied. Are you kidding me? I could almost throw away the last five minutes of this video. Because I haven't accomplished a thing. Alright. One. No. Not one more time. Seventeen more times. F1. You're gonna go there. More benches. <laughs> After the episode's done, I'll go in and find all those benches and delete them, and we'll have more of a road out there. You go a little bit further. So, it's gonna be a couple of really big plots. Lots of garden coming in. And. <clears throat> yep, we'll go with that. One more, and I guess we got to call this episode done. All right, you're going to drop into there. Hit T. Put you about like so. I feel like we're getting a little bit tight in there. We are. Um, alt. About there. Okay. Okay. And you are going to come down like so. Yeah, something like that. You can probably come up a little. That looks fairly straight. This needs to come in a little bit more like that. Okay. Fairly parallel with the road there. 
you could go back just a little bit further it's more central four fairly even crops in there and you're good all right so we've got more houses available i'll rearrange all this and looks like there's three benches left and that will be done so yep yeah, slowly but surely we're going to continue growing but a little growing pains right now because i don't know how best i guess once this system gets up and going then we can grab some market stalls and drop it in here and then load up with food and, and and hire it and see if they can find you know once these are emptied and all drawn into here see if they can make it to here to load it if so then i'll know that i can take a row house with stores in the bottom and build it here i know that those stores will reach that central market if this just sits here and stagnates and she can't pick up anything like a like honey even though it's sitting right over there then we'll know that this is dead in the water and we're going to have to be somewhere over here near closer to it off this bridge but if it does work there then maybe we can also drop one over here once the bridge is in and test it again and see if we can't get you know two more rounds of markets out of this guy and even more flexibility for new neighborhoods but we're i'm kind of at an experimentation you know phase of trying to testing the waters and figure out what works and what doesn't work so that i can then leapfrog and get into the rest of the map so yeah we'll continue this experiment next time thanks for watching folks bye